Hey everybody, Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. It just blows my mind that some people still don't use or recognize the value of the anchored volume weighted average price. Take NVIDIA, for instance, last week. Everybody knows about the earnings report, but how do you find a low-risk trade in the stock? Well, the first thing is when they report earnings, that's a catalyst that creates big shift in sentiment. So the supply and demand is affected large, and that's what we want to measure. Who has control? Well, they obviously had control right from that point, and they maintained control as the buyers uh, remain, the stock remained above the uh, average price since the earnings report. What you saw on Friday, and I outlined it be, before it actually hitting this level on Twitter, was that it pulled back precisely, I mean precisely to the anchor from the earnings report. I had also had the daily VWAP, and then as it started to rally, I put an anchor off that low. This was the anchor from the earnings report. You just can't make that stuff up. That kind of accuracy is unbelievable. I don't buy there. I buy as it rallies away from there. I bought right around here, 782.3, I think. I, I honestly don't remember. Um, but I, I was I, actually right here because I got a little nervous on that candle, but my stop was below this low. As it rallied, I, I sold some in here, and then I raised my stop under these higher lows. It ran up to the daily VWAP and pulled back. That's where I got out of the balance. It then pulled back precisely to the anchor from that handoff point. These are all concepts that I talk about in the book, Maximum Trading Gains with Anchored Volume Weighted Average Price. If you want to learn about this uh, anchored volume weighted average price, how to do it yourself, and how to make money more consistently in the market, you need to get this book. It's pretty simple.